Yeah, so we're at Joe Wright Reservoir just upstream on Joe Wright Creek. We're here today conducting our annual grayling spawn operation. We come to this location every year sometime towards the end of June and collect grayling eggs. The fish run out of the reservoir up the creek when we catch them and spawn them. So we have a specific egg quota every year that we have to take from Joe Wright Reservoir. This year it was 100,000 green eggs, so we were looking for about 100 females. 100 females equals 100,000 eggs. So Arctic grayling are not native to Colorado. The fish here in Joe Wright Reservoir originally came from Montana. Uh, they've been in Joe Wright Reservoir for about 30 years. We've been spawning them for a couple decades now. There's an annual spawning run that's really just a, a spectacle to see. In the quarter mile of stream we shocked today, we caught almost a thousand grayling. And if you came up to Joe Wright Creek during any other time of the year other than the spawning run, you wouldn't really find a single grayling in the creek. Uh, Joe Wright Reservoir and Creek provide a unique habitat where they spawn and do really well in the stream because it's crystal clear, great mountain water with appropriate sized spawning gravel. They run up towards the end of June and spawn and then migrate back downstream to the reservoir where they spend the other 11 months of the year. Grayling are in the Salmonid family. Um, you know, they're really pretty fish. They don't get really big in Colorado. A really big grayling in Colorado would be about 16 inches. Uh, they're good to eat, white meat, um, and they just provide a unique angling opportunity. They're a lot different than, you know, your rainbow trout or a brown trout. They're really pretty fish. The males this time of year get an elongated dorsal fin that gets really colorful. Just a gorgeous fish. So the eggs from today will go to the Glenwood Springs Fish Hatchery. They will get stocked out uh, various lakes around the state. It depends on the year. This year I think it's around a dozen lakes. It generally ranges from 10 to 20 lakes around the state of Colorado.